to add to the data governance discussion from before, I want to show you as a site administrator how you can actually see the usage, right? So let's say I have this file, right? I don't know who made it, and I want to figure out, well, should we still have this? Should it still be on site, okay? Um, should I work on it more? Should it be enhanced? Should it be deleted? Uh, do the people using it actually you know, enjoy using it? Does it actually solve problems? And with traditional data analysis, really, in distribution, you just can't do that because you can't track the usage. It's almost like YouTube views, right? Subscribers, who's using it, how often, when it's viewed, and all that. Obviously, a video that's really old that doesn't get many views is probably obsolete at this point and shouldn't be on the site anymore. If you are kind of experiencing this from back in the old days where you have Excel files traveling all over the place and you ever had that job where you had to prepare a report and send it to these 30 people you've never ever met you don't know if they exist right but you just do it because it's just something we've always done and then it turns out nobody uses it anymore right these emails don't even exist anymore these people aren't even in the company that's a major problem because people are wasting their time preparing these reports. Okay, And if you ever did want to test how important a file is that you've been told to do for a long time, just don't send it for a while. If nobody complains, it means nobody uses it. Okay, Neat little trick. So let's say I've got this dashboard right here and I want to see how many views it's had. I can actually click on this and go who has seen this view. And if your one is blocked out, most likely you haven't got the permission to do this. I believe only site administrators can do this. So if I click on this, it's going to open a new window and it's going to tell me all the people that have looked at this. So I'm going to see it's been viewed 18 times and the last time it was viewed was 5 a.m. All right. And this is a great way to see is it still being used. So that's one way. The problem with that method is I can only look at one dashboard at a time. So how do I actually see what is the performance of my site? Okay, that's when you go down here to site status, right? And from here, you're gonna have all these options, right? And I'm not gonna go into every single one, mainly because I actually don't use most of them. The only one I really use is this traffic to views. And I'm not going to click it because, well, this site basically has no data, right? There's just hasn't been any views. So what I've done is I've done a mock-up and recreated what it looks like. And when you open it, there's actually like, I think, 13 dashboards, right? But even just the first one will give you an idea of what you expect to see. So here it is, right? It's really basic. It's actually the same coloring that they've used, right? And it's really, it's, it's just that. It's really basic. It shows me, okay, out of all the projects that I have, which one gets the most views, um, over time, how many views am I getting during the day? So what's my heaviest time during the day? What workbooks within those folders are getting a lot of uh, views and which people are actually using it a lot. So this tells me already heaps of things. Starting here with the owner on the bottom left, I can see the heaviest users. So I can actually do something which you can't do in the past, which was go, well, maybe I should go have a chat with these people and empower them some more. Hey, do you want creator license? Hey, do you want to go training? Hey, do you want to design your own things? You know, because obviously they're using it a lot and they may, they're probably enjoying it. Whereas the people here at the bottom, what I've usually found is that they don't know how to use it or they're really nervous. They don't want to break it. No one's ever trained them. They're just lost. Okay. So instead of going down there, it's like, how come you don't use it? You'd be like, hey, do you need some more support? Do you need help? Do you want training? Do you want me to walk you through? And a lot of the times they're just like, oh, I was just waiting for someone to come see me. All right. It's as simple as that. And you can actually see that they're, you know, their usage. Moving on to the left, right? I've got dashboards here or workbooks, sorry that have a lot of views. So I've got Operation Moonshine. That's got a lot of views. That's great. Keep using it. Maybe I'll have a chat to the owner and say, hey, do you need additional support to develop it further? Because it sounds like and it looks like you have a lot of people using your content, right? Do you want some more support? On the flip side, right? I think uh, that's all there is. On the flip side, I can look at this one, right? And let's say this was really low. Let's say 10 views. And I can be like, hey, who's designing this? Let's say Shannon over there. Hey, Shannon, are you still publishing this? Is it still useful? She's like, I think so, but 
I don't know. I just publish it. And, I go, and then I can say, listen, you've only got 10 views in the last six months. Probably have a chat with your stakeholders. Maybe there's no reason to do this anymore because it sounds like no one's using it. Probably better to devote your resources elsewhere. Okay. Time of the day is also really good. Um, and the good thing you can do here is let's say the busiest time is 9 a.m. Right. I'm not going to schedule Tableau bridge refreshes during that time. I'm going to set them before that. Because that tells me everyone comes in at 9, opens their dashboards, and has a look. If I run bridge at that time, some people may think, oh, this is today's data. But it's actually yesterday's data. And Tableau Bridge, if I actually haven't mentioned it before, it's really just the automation of refreshing the data sets. So if that runs after that 9 o'clock period, no one's received their data yet. So I'd probably want to run that earlier. Okay. Another issue is, let's say, your busiest time is 12 o'clock okay then you know when the heaviest usage periods are um, then you can schedule things around it so time of the day is really really good just for scheduling okay the next time uh, the next one is total I, I can't remember if this is total time or total views right I think this is total views over time so you can see if things are ramping up if your usage is going lower sometimes it's a good justification maybe we need to go enterprise now maybe we need more system performance and so on um, project views which is your highest kind of view you can see how many views per project okay so in a nutshell this is what it does but when your site is kind of fully functional and you come in here and have a play with it you can do way more things if you have tableau online i believe and in my experience you can only go back to about two months worth of data right in terms of views so i can't see what the views were a year ago but I believe on Tableau server, you can look all the way to the beginning. Okay, I, be I believe so, right? So that'll help you with your data governance. It'll help you with managing your us users, your usage, and so on. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.